Hey there, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Katie and this is Louisiana Cooking and Living. And I'm going to apologize now if my dogs start barking. Um, there are some horses walking, trotting, riding. Somebody's riding a horse up and down our street and they don't like that at all. So they start barking and there she is. Um, so I apologize now if we get interrupted by the barking. So we are doing lots and lots of canning projects today. I have a pressure canner heating on the stove. I have some tomatoes that were in the freezer that I have simmered down and made a tomato sauce. And today we are doing, there'll be three different videos, but we are doing, this video is going to be a chili base. Um, let me grab something from the pantry real quick. Last year I did a series on soups and I showed you how I make my chili and I had a little shortcut. I had this Tabasco chili starter. Well, they no longer sell this and we have a few jars that we kind of um, found as we were scouring, looking around for this. Um, my husband, I think he actually was even in a different state, maybe in Mississippi when he found this. They do not sell it on the Tabasco website. They don't sell it on Amazon. They don't sell it at Walmart. Cannot find this anywhere. So I need to make some chili base and one of the ladies that I love watching on YouTube is Jessica at Three Rivers Homestead and she just did a video recently back in I think probably in August. She does an every bit, every bit counts challenge where she preserves something every day of the month of August and she did this chili base and I thought that's perfect. I need to get some more chili on this um, shelf because I'm almost out of this and I'm making chili this weekend and we're going to use the last of this this weekend. So um, I needed to get this going. So that's what we're going to be doing today, one of our projects. So we're just going to get started. This is so easy. You just throw everything in your jars, fill it up with this tomato sauce and then can it. It is a pressure canning recipe and you pressure can it for 60 minutes. So um, we're going to process our vegetables in the food processor, throw them in the jars, ladle over our tomato sauce, and then that's it. It's that quick. So um, let's get started. All right, so the first thing she does is she um, chops a bunch of onion in the food processor. So I've just peeled these, and I'm just going to quarter them up so they chop a little faster in the food processor. This one's a little bigger, so we'll do him in eight pieces. And I don't really know how many jars... I'm going to be able to fill with my tomato sauce. I kind of went by my Dutch oven is I think a seven quart. I probably have eight quarts or six quarts of tomato sauce in there and I'm canning this in pints. I've just tried to do the math that way. Um, so I guess any chopped onions I, I don't know. We'll just figure this out as we go. So I'm going to process these um, till they're um, pretty finely chopped. Probably put too much in here at one time. All right, I think that's pretty finely crushed up. Let me get my jars here. All right, so we're gonna put one big spoon of our onion in the bottom of each jar. And these are pint jars. All right, I think I'm going to put this in a bowl in case I need to get some more jars out. So let me dump this in a bowl real quick.
All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add, I did just a bunch of garlic here. I don't know how much garlic this is. Just a bunch. And then I didn't have any um, bell peppers, so I have this poblano. So I'm gonna use this real quick. Get this stem piece out. Give this another rough chop. Put this in here. And then she says that she puts um, one whole pepper, hot pepper per jar. Uh, I think that's a little lo a lot, especially when I bought these jalapenos that are this big. So um, I have four peppers here. This is one of those things that you can always add when you open your jar. A few things if you need to tweak it a little bit. So I'm just going to add these to my food processor next. And these smell kind of spicy, so I don't think we need more than this for these jars. All right. If you need to use gloves while you're um, working with peppers, go ahead and do that. Um, and I'll add those stems to my chicken scrap pile. All right, we're gonna blend these up now. All right, I think I got all of this blended up and I'm gonna do a smaller spoon, not a huge spoon, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a good spoonful of it in here. Now we're gonna add our spices to our jars. We are gonna be adding two tablespoons of ground cumin to each jar. All right, so we got the cumin. Now we're doing one tablespoon of paprika per jar. A half a teaspoon of chili powder, or half a tablespoon, sorry. I think that's everything. And now we're gonna do a tablespoon of salt. Let me rinse my um, tablespoon. Now this is gonna be like a concentrate that you're gonna be adding beans and ground meat and maybe even some broth. So this isn't like gonna be straight, you're gonna eat this out of the jar. You're gonna be adding stuff to this. Just enough. All right, I'm gonna clean this up and we'll bring our tomato sauce over here and start filling our jars with the tomato sauce. 
All right, I wanted you to be able to see um, the headspace change on these as we add our tomato sauce and debubble this. Um, the tomato sauce or tomato juice, um, I'll insert the little clip here where we um, just threw in, I collected uh, tomatoes in the garden as they were ripening. I, I put them in the freezer and then so today I was able to throw those all in the pot with a little bit of water so they didn't burn and I cooked those down and then I used the immersion blender. So we're going to go with a uh, inch head space on these and I'm just going to start ladling it into the jars. can already smell all that chili powder and seasonings. It smells so good. How do you serve your chili? We like to do Fritos and cheddar cheese and sour cream, avocado. I'm going to debubble this, and as you watch this, just stir it. That headspace is going to change. So, we're going to add some more tomato to it. All right, I had one jar that I did not have tomato juice for, so I will save this, and when we make um, chili this weekend, I will start with this for my spices. All right, we're gonna clean our lids with our vinegar here, our rims, rather. Just wipe the rims down to make sure you get a good seal. All those little spices that got on the rims. You can see.
right, I'm going to get my lids and rings and we'll put these on. We'll screw these on fingertip tight. Because my tomato sauce is hot, I have my pressure canner heating a little bit um, just so that it doesn't shock the jars going into cold water. And because these are pint, I can double stack these in my canner, my pressure canner. So we're going to get the canner loaded up. So my canner calls for putting three quarts of water in the bottom. Every canner is different, so you need to make sure you read your instruction manual. So I'm gonna put an extra rack in here there is one rack in the bottom, so my jars don't bounce on the bottom of my canner. And then I'll put another rack in here and put these jars on here. Just two extra jars, but I'd like to go ahead and get them all done at one time. We're locking our lid in place. We're going to wait for steam to come out of our little valve here. Let me see if I can bring you in a little closer so you can see this. All right, so here's our little valve here. We're going to wait for steam to come out. When steam starts coming out steady, we're going to set our timer for 10 minutes and let this vent for 10 minutes. Once that happens, we will put our little weight on here and we'll wait for our pressure to come up to whatever it is for your elevation. For my elevation, I think it's 11 pounds of pressure. So you need to make sure you check with your elevation as to what pressure you need to bring yours up to. Once we get up to there, let me check my uh, recipe real quick and see how much. We will set the timer for 30 minutes to pressure can this. Once our 30, or, sorry, 60 minutes. Once our 60 minutes is up, we will um, let this totally depressurize by itself. We won't do anything. Um, if you take this off before it's depressurized, um, you might burn yourself. So we're going to um, let it totally depressurize all by itself. And then we'll take the lid off and continue to let it rest for a few more minutes. And then we can take our jars out. So we'll be back when all that happens. Okay, y'all, we got nine pints of our chili base. Super excited about getting this on our pantry shelves. Um, we will be making chili in numerous times this winter. Um, I usually use two pints of these. Well, the Tabasco that I showed you earlier in the video, that brand, I usually use two pints of those when I make my pot of chili. So I'll probably use two pints of these for a pot of chili also. So I'm super excited about this. I hope y'all give this a try. Let me know if you do, how it tastes, and um, I'm excited about it. So um, if you haven't subscribed already, we ask, this, ask that you subscribe and share our videos with others. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.